Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. This week we are doing another random character design challenge but not a character, instead a creature because I grew up drawing animals not people and animals are really really close to my heart and that's kind of why I like Bethel and the Hush Hush as well because it's mostly animal, creatures, monsters and I find it just really interesting to draw. So what I'm gonna do today is to do kind of the same thing as um, the random color ch challenge, the tree color challenge, but with animals. So this um, random list generator will give me three different animals and I will mix them up and create a creature from it. So we're gonna see now, we're gonna do a random refresh and see what animals we get. Hopefully it will be some kind of interesting animals that I can actually <laughs> manage to mash up. Okay. Ooh, one, two, and three. Ooh, okay. <laughs> I love the first one, it looks so fluffy. Okay. Ork, ork, I don't know how to say it. Marmoset and a bear. Oh, yeah, yeah, I can work with this. I will um, kind of make them Kind of like hush, hush so it would be like a hush, hush creature but based on these three animals so the first thing that i did was of course to go on google and search for all of these cute animals that i got from the random generator and i do usually use uh, google because i don't know i just like google sometimes i use pinterest but pinterest usually works better for me when i do costume designs so but this time I'm using uh, Google. So when I find all of my reference pictures that I like and I think I can use, I put them all on the side of the canvas and when I'm designing I can just look over and remember what details or what I want to bring into the, into the design. Um, so something that's really interesting when I do design creatures that I don't talk about that much when I do people or character design. Um, is that I have kind of like my own little golden rule. I don't know if there's anyone else that has this rule or is it if it's in the rule book, I have no idea. But I call it the magic of three. Um, I split design, creature, character, anything up into three different things and then three in there again and kind of there's more threes. <laughs> so I split my design up into three pieces or parts or whatever you want to call it and uh, the first one is and the second one is elements or things or whatever you want to say like animals or things or anything uh, that is not color just like elements of the design and then the third one is of course color so i have three main colors and maybe some tiny other ones in there as well but i usually do have three main colors so when i do design when i use this golden magic of three rules i do split like for instance this creature design i split it into three so i decide like a creature that i want to have the most present like the most of the detail from um so usually i do use one of the animals as the base and i call it the base and then you have the middle part which is um I say around 30% so you have the first one which is 60 which is the base and then you have the middle one which is like a lot of it in, in the design which is about 30% and then you have the last one which is 10% um, which is kind of like an extra kind of like a little tweak um, so for me I really like the face of the monkey it was just so little and cute and I just had to use it and also the, the body and like the fluff so of course that's the first thing you see and that's the most present so that's my 60% and then I choose to use the pig creature I can't remember the name I can't say the name properly so I'm not gonna say it but I used him as the 30% where you have like the ears the feet the tail um, and then I have the bear which only has the paws and a little bit of the body but mostly just the paws um, I thought that would be really nice split to this design um i do know when people are designing creatures that very very often do something that i call like frankenstein's monster where you very easily just have a main like a head of one animal and then you have a 
body of an other other animal and then a tail of another animal and I don't know for me a good creature design you should not be able to tell exactly which animal is which part <laughs> it's supposed to blend it has to be blended like a perfectly blended smoothie that's the whole point of creature design it has to look like every part of the body belongs to that creature and um, for example you can't well it would be, be very weird if you had a lot of fur and then like uh, a fish tail because i don't know heavy fur in water wouldn't work work really really well that's partly why we humans also don't have that much hair um, so yeah don't do frankenstein monster I, I guess it could work in some instances but i just remember to blend your creatures well and thoroughly together and then also use the 60 30 and um, 10 magic of three rules uh, because it'll just make the design a little bit I don't know, balance, I would say. Um, and the same thing goes for color. You would choose one color, which is like main color. So for this creature, for example, I choose like a golden golden color as like the main body color. And then you have the pink, which is like the 30% the color. And then you have 10, which is like the bow. <laughs> Watch me and see me. And that's like kind of like a blackish blue. And I put that, the, the, this one is like the other way around uh, for the parts and the elements you will see you will first see the big color oh you will focus on the big color I don't know how to say this <laughs> but for the colors um, the one that you have the least stuff will very often attract the eye so I tend to use like like the 60s on the whole body and that's like the whole creature and then maybe I kind of want you to look at the 30%, which is like the pink parts. And then I have the blue and the black, which is like, look at me, <laughs> look at me, because there's not that much of it. So the same thing goes for when you're doing like line art or something. Um, you should use the most lines or the tiniest strokes in where you want people to look at. So for this one, I use the most strokes and tiny <laughs> details in the middle of the face because I want you to look at the face um, so and then the least detail on the feet and on the tail because I don't know I don't need you to look at it <laughs> so that's like my golden rule magic rule of three um, of three so if you like it like use it it will help you um, it's very important not to use too much like you don't want like ten colors or 10 different animals because it'll just be a mess and you can't really balance it properly and you always have to blend it together so it works um that's the whole point of the design it has to look like this is an animal that could live in the wild and you can't really pinpoint if there's other animals in it like a zebra is a zebra but it's definitely like a mix of a donkey and a horse i don't know <laughs> you have to look at it that way um so yeah guys, I hope you guys enjoy this kind of video because I usually just do people des uh, people design character designs because that's what I tend to do uh, but I do love creature design and this is also kind of a little bit for Nettle and the Hush Hush so I guess it's a win-win if you guys like it because <laughs> then I can do more of it I just think it's really fun to do creature design especially random creature design because I have no idea what like animals I will have to base it off um so I find it really interesting so if you guys want to see more you can comment that in the comment section and I will take note and hopefully do more <laughs> if you guys like it um also I am sorry I missed Tuesday tips on Tuesday uh I was very busy and I couldn't really focus my head on teaching someone else something so I did a stream instead and that stream recording is up on my channel if you want to watch it and we also had like kind of a Phrygian hype, which is a frog pigeon, uh, which was very fun. <laughs> There's also some tips in there. So it's all kind of a Tuesday tips. So if you want to see that. Um, but yeah, guys, that is it for this week. If you like it, you can like it or if you like. And if you like these kinds of videos, you can subscribe. I do videos every Friday, sometimes Sundays. And now I'm doing 
I will say two Tuesday tips a month. Um, so yeah, I <laughs> hope you guys have a wonderful weekend and do a lot of creative stuff. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye-bye.